Oh, hello there. Yes, well, we are getting through this week. You can tell how thrilled I am by the whole notion of this week, or indeed getting through it. Oh, yes. Anyway, today I thought we'd talk once again about that whole reformosphere, the way that uh, collectively the media is pointing us in a very, very, very particular, very precise destination. And the way that they don't really seem to care about how messy, nasty or bloody that might well be. Now, some of you may well have seen this particular thing from a couple of plays ago from Isabel Oakshot. Yes, when she's not busy writing nasty things in the Telegraph, she's busy saying nasty things, often with her squeeze, Mr Tice, on GB News. Yes, her. Anyway, was Peter Lynch Britain's first political prisoner? Intriguing headline. Uh, patently, the answer is no, because by any reckoning, it's just no, isn't it, in terms of real politics? But anyway, let's look at the uh, <laughs> the subheader. <clears throat> A 61-year-old who died in HMP Moorland on Friday may have harboured some mad ideas. Come on to those. But did he deserve jail for them? Well, having actually looked at the local paper and sort of describing him, probably yes. He was a man who uh, decided to very much take part in riotous affray. He was egging on a crowd who were baying for blood of migrants in a hotel. Now, you might not like migrants, you might not like hotels, and you might think that baying for blood's a good thing. However, it's illegal. So he got done for that. He pleaded guilty in court and he got sent down because of underlying health conditions, which were taken into account by the by the judge, a judge who's been pilloried, you may notice, perhaps, maybe not, by Stephen Reaxley. Yes, him. Still hasn't been arrested, but we'll wait for that one. Anyway, him. Yes, and the guy died. Yes, unfortunately, bit of a shame. However, he's not a martyr. He's not a political prisoner. He's not dying for the cause, was he? Because he was holding up this particular thing which he'd scribbled on, which is basically a kind of right-wing talking point of all the bad people in the world. I'm very surprised there aren't any teachers on there. I think it's the only thing he's left off. Um, it's your kind of standard kind of Lotus Eaters, GB News, Coast Guy style thing, yes? Whereby, whereby the WEF all planning to get us aren't they hmm. yes i mean if you look, do look at the local paper reporting of him he was somebody who was not in that particular strata of society who was likely to be able to sort of differentiate enormously in terms of the other things that he's put on his placard i'm going to be horrible about it if you like yes i know he's dead and it's a shame that he's died however he wasn't doing anything other than merely being caught up in the moment which he admitted to and got sent down for. There is that statement of crime and time, which no doubt other people will lead on to. But of course, moving on to the wider subject of Ms Oakhurst, of course, she is somebody that will very often suggest that loads and loads and loads of people should be locked up because of their political opinions. Yes, if you sit in the roads like a just, oil, just Stop Oil protester, then you really should be flung in jail. Because ironically, in her Telegraph piece, she is really bitterly complaining that certain nice white women who are members of the Conservative Party got caught up in this, treated dreadfully by the police, apparently. Not flung in jail, you understand, but just generally being treated badly. Because of, obviously, if you belong to the same cabal as, as she does, then you deserve to be treated well. Not as political prisoners, I would imagine. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell, isn't it? But, of course, yes, the problem is with this kind of generic right-wing reformosphere stuff that goes on, you end up with all of them having to basically keep them each other in business. So I bring you Exhibit B, which is Graham Linehan. Now, Graham Linehan is somebody that just doesn't like trans people. That's his problem. Unfortunately, he inflicts it on the rest of us. But because he gets invited on to very specialised shows like the Lotus Eaters, he has therefore gradually drifted into a generic anti-left position. So he's against Palestinian demonstrators and he's all in favour of anti-abortion types and that whole kind of spiked crew because basically they will pay him to appear. He doesn't have an actual job at the moment, 
Hmm, I'm surprised he wasn't done for Rioters of Fray, but that's another story. So here he is, right, okay, basically backing up Connor Tomlinson. Yes, him from Lotus Eaters, yeah, complaining enormously about the non-influence of the far right that don't exist in this country. Bit odd, that, yeah, because Channel 4 are just going to do investigations because they're bad people, aren't they? How do we know they're bad people? Well, they claim that the right wing exists, and we can't, with the right wing, the far right especially, can't exist because Connor Tomlinson, who definitely isn't a member of the far right, and Graeme Linehan, who isn't aligned with the far right, say that that's the case, and they, of course, control the via vertical and the horizontal. That's what we end up with, don't we? Yeah, but these people keep each other in business and they point each other in exactly the same position, which is one of racism, sexism, homophobia. And when it comes down to it, just nastiness, just generic nastiness. And they don't really care who they drag along. Now, they are also, though, people that won't actually get their hands dirty. I mean, you know, you can complain about uh, uh, various people like Britain First. Mm, Britain First mm, sound like they're a political group. Yes, indeed. At least they get their hands dirty. I mean, you know, Stephen Yaxley or Tommy himself gets his hand dirty. They've even managed to persuade actual Carl Benjamin to come out and give a speech to a crowd. He wouldn't do it normally because it's a bit scary. But the rest of them, of course, are quite happy to stir up, you know, innocent, poor-minded souls who eventually lose their life in prison because they won't do it themselves. And I give you this, which is from the Cenotaph last year, or rather not the Cenotaph. Remembrance Sunday last year, um, various people knew that there was going to be a big right-wing demonstration. You see, I've not said far right there, but right-wing uh, presence at the Cenotaph. So in order to appear to be doing the right thing, they didn't go there. Hmm, strange that, isn't it? Yeah. So a variety of them, here's Toby Young and... Um, and uh, Alison Pearson standing guard at Churchill's statue, right? OK, just in case magically Hamas turned up to threaten it, which, of course, they weren't going to. But you can see here the kind of simpering, nasty, running away from any whiff of trouble that these people do, right? OK, they want to be seen to be doing something, the performative art. But when it comes down to it, they're not actually, actually going to get involved with the working classes. Mm. There are various words for people like this, but coward is probably the primary one. And Isabel is, you know, very much in that same ilk. She'll happily cheer on other people that lose their lives, but she won't get her own hands dirty. But all of them, collectively, all of them are pointing in us, us in a very nasty, towards a very nasty future. Right? Nasty, racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, you name it. Yeah? And threatening people. They don't mind who gets threatened. And then, when those people die in prison, they'll magically turn them into something that they're not. If you want to look at somebody who's a political prisoner who's there right now, you can look at Roger Hallam who's serving five years for plotting to sit in a road, in essence. That's a political prisoner by all means or if you want to be really deadly about it i'll point you to bobby sands who lost his life uh, due to a hunger strike way 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 back when i was probably just in my 20s yeah now you may not agree with bobby sands you may not agree with the ira but he was undoubtedly a political prisoner he was a member of parliament when he died don't forget and we now ended up with the uh, <laughs> Good Friday peace agreement in Northern Ireland. At least in part, at least in part, a little bit, due to him giving up his life. Now that's a future that we should be pointing to. Not simply baying for the blood of brown people because people on GB News have told us to. Mm. Anyway, do have a lovely midweek if you can do remember stay out of trouble especially if you've got underlying health conditions and if someone suggests that you do that tell them that you'll you'll take part after them yeah meet them at the statue of churchill why don't you hmm.